Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with three things that stood up. Tennessee, Atlanta Falcons, first preseason game. Um, I want to get you guys' thoughts on it, so leave your comments below the three things that stood out to you most. Going to get straight to it. All right, the first one, the chemistry. We're talking about the chemistry amongst the team, um, the players, the, the coaches. That's the first thing that I really wanted to look at when we talk about the team in its entirety, going back to um, Dan Quinn, uh, these guys lost all sense of responsibility. I, I never really, when you look at the sidelines, I didn't see a lot of guys outside of when they made one play here and there. These guys never really, you know, got on each other's case. I saw guys before the snap, after the snap, during the snap, after bad plays, good plays. These guys, you know, teaching each other on the sideline. They hyped, they amped. I saw the coaches teaching the players and that's something that I, I i wanted to really focus on the chemistry amongst the players and see if these coaches are really doing a freaking job all right don't be afraid to get in these guys behind you know what i'm saying don't be afraid to get on them this is what we talk about all right dan quinn you never truly saw any coaches have any type of blow up players not have any blow up on the sidelines you're four and twelve you're constantly losing how the heck are you not upset these are the things that we're talking about under Dan Quinn that just went completely left, all right? They, they did not, it, it, almost like these guys just mentally checked out. And this is one of the reasons why you continue to create a losing culture when the coaches don't care. When coaches don't care, the players are don't go, the players not going to care. So this, this is the first thing that stood out to me first, um, personally. I saw a complete um, a change. The atmosphere, the chemistry, you know, the emotion, all that. I saw completely different, all right? And maybe that has something to do with, you know, the new season and new direction. But I, I saw that. I need to see that. And I need to see players really teaching each other. Coaches teaching the players. Need to see that motion. And that's what I got. The second one that stood out to me most is that um, defensively. I got to say, these Falcons and their linebacker crew, these guys are ready. You got Dion Foyer, um, Etheridge. The Etheridge showed his behind. Um, you saw A.O. Uh, Ogum Deji, he was playing outside. Um, you saw Jacob Tatui Mariner getting a little pressure here, but Marlon Davidson, uh, even though he's not a linebacker, but the linebackers for the Atlanta Falcons, these guys are fast, they're quick, they can get after it, and that's what I... You know, I saw uh, most these guys. You didn't see a lot of uh, yak yards, you know, uh, yards after the catch. These guys tackled well. They tackled hard. They immediately, um, they immediately hit these guys. It wasn't a lot of broken tackles, if any. Um, but uh, look, man, I, I love what I saw from these guys. So the linebackers is another thing that stood out to me. And the last one, and this is probably one of the most important, um, the defensive line, man. That damn Marlon Davidson. I just got to give it up to him. That young cat was doing his thing. That dude was wreaking havoc. Grady Jarrett Jr. I knew Grady Jarrett was really excited about this guy. Said so he get the emotion, get the team going, to get the defensive line, um, get the emotions going, get them hyped. This is what he did. When I tell you this young kid was all over the field, he was making plays on different sides. Like this dude was stopping the run. He was getting out. He was just creating havoc. This is what we needed. We need guys that's going to create havoc and create uh, that motion. Get excited. Get the team excited. And Marlon Davidson did that. So when you talk about the defensive line, Marlon Davidson, you know, take one Graham. Had, uh, look, every time I talk, turn around, Marlon Davidson and take one Graham was in the backfield. This is what we needed most. So Taquan Graham is no, um, he, he's really not uh, surprised to me because, you know, looking at him and doing film on him, I thought he was a very, he was a good fit for what the Atlanta Falcons were going to do this year under Dean P. So those guys for me, those, they stood out. Um, and I'm just going to be real. Um, you talk about this defensive line, man. I, I just love what I saw out of these guys i want to know what you guys think about it all right i really want to know what you guys think about it the first one again you talk about the coaching all right the coaching um the defensive line 
and the linebacker. Those are the things that stood out to me. The three things that stood out to me. Um, I want to know what you guys think about it. Leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy, man, Mike is odd, man. Peace.